Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Tropical Punch Dishcloth. This is an easy dishcloth to crochet and it's really fun to experiment with the colors. I chose to go in the tropical colors, hence the name, and it's finished off with just a simple clean edge. So here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need some cotton dishcloth yarn. I saved the labels to these and this is the peaches and cream for each one. And this green here is called Bright uh, Chartreuse. The yellow is called Gold, if you're looking for these colors. Obviously you can use any color you like. And then this um, kind of salmon color is called Iced Strawberry. You'll also need a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle. I used a larger tapestry needle for this. And our dishcloth measures eight inches by eight inches. However, if you like an oversized dishcloth, you simply just work more rounds of the square. Or if you like a smaller um, scrubby, like for a pot or something, then just work less rounds. So it's a really versatile pattern as well. So let's get started. Our dishcloth is worked in one round of each color. So you can pick any color you want. Now when you're making yours, you can choose these colors. You could do yours in two colors. You can do yours in just one solid color. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna show you how to do uh, this dishcloth as shown with one color of each round. So we're gonna learn how to work each round, but we're also gonna learn how to change colors as well. So if you wanna do yours in a solid color, just skip that part. So let's start, we're gonna make it just exactly the way it's shown. We're gonna start with the gold in the center. So just grab some yarn and we're going to begin by putting a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, bring up that loop and then tighten. Next, we're going to chain four so wrap the yarn around the hook, pull it through. That's one chain, two, three, and four. Now in the chain farthest from our hook, the first chain we made, we're going to insert the hook into that chain. We're gonna join with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that chain farthest from the hook, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And then you can open it up a little, and we now have the ring that we'll be working our first round into. We also have a tail here. We're gonna hold that tail along the edge as we work, and that will weave it in as we go along, and it will eliminate the need to have to weave it in later. Okay, so let's work round one. So I did the, the beginning ring and round one in the gold here. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Next, work three double crochets into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. That's a double crochet, so we're gonna do a total of three to start. So that's one, two, if you need to push these over a little, that's okay too. And three. Let me just get a little bit more yarn off this yarn ball. Okay, so we worked three double crochets into the center of the ring. Again, if you need to, we're gonna work a lot of stitches into the center, so if you need to push those stitches over, that's fine. Just kind of push them back a little, okay? Next, chain two. One, two, okay? So now we're going to repeat that. We're going to do three double crochets, chain two, once again. So three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, you need to push them over, that's fine. And then chain two, one, two. Okay, and then repeat again, three double crochet, chain two. So one double crochet, 
two and three. Push them over if you need to. I'm just gonna get a little more yarn and then chain two. One, two, okay? So we actually have at this point almost a little tiny square. So where we begin with this chain five, that counts as one of the double crochets in this last grouping. So we're only gonna work two double crochets in the center of the ring for that grouping. So work one and two into the center of the ring. Then you're gonna look at this, this chain five that you did at the beginning and just count up three chains, one, two, three. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch into that chain. So insert the hook into that chain and bring up a loop. Bring that loop through the loop already on your hook and you've joined with a slip stitch to close the round. So let's look at what we've done. We worked these groupings of three double crochets all the way around and then we work chain twos in between them. That creates corners, these corner spaces, and that'll be more apparent as you work more rows. So you can see these corner spaces all the way up and they, they make really pretty decorative holes as well, but they also uh, function as our corners. So if you look at our gold, our first round of this gold, it's actually uh, like a little plus sign, okay? It looks a little less obvious when you begin because everything's kind of scrunched up. But as you add more rounds, it'll kind of open up that center a little bit. So if we look at our dishcloth, our next round is in green. We're gonna work the next round in green, just like our original dishcloth here. So go ahead and cut the yarn. And then just fasten it off. Just like that, okay? Now what I like to do, this first tail that we wove in, in the center, I like to trim it. I just like the ends out of the way as I go along. You can wait till the end to cut everything if you want to, it's totally up to you. So we have four corners. So what we're gonna do is just pick any corner, it doesn't matter which, and grab our next yarn color. So we're just gonna tie one of those corners that we chose, we're just going to tie the green into that corner. So just insert your hook into that. Um, in the pattern, I also refer to these corners as the chain two space because these spaces were created by making a chain two in, the, in this gold round that we did. So insert your hook into the chain two space and bring the new yarn through and then go ahead and tie it right onto the corner. Just tie it right on there. Okay, now these ends, we're gonna, because we do so many color changes in this, you'll definitely want to try and weave your ends in as you go along. It'll save you a ton of work at the end trying to weave all these in with a tapestry needle. So we're gonna hold this green along the edge here, and then when we get to the yellow, we're also gonna hold that along the edge as well, and that will weave those in. So let's work round two of our dishcloth. We're gonna insert the hook and bring up a loop. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So this chain five serves as a double crochet, but it also serves as a chain two. So the three chains make that double crochet and then the two additional ones to make the five makes that chain two space. And it'll make more sense as we continue the round. So in the same space, we're going to work two double crochet we're only working part of the corner right now. So we're working two double crochet. And then we'll finish up the corner when we come back around this around, we'll finish up the corner over here. So let's get a little bit more yarn here from our yarn ball. Okay, so we're gonna work the first side. Now, I wanna explain the difference here we're working the corners um, into the spaces, but the sides of our square, we're going to be working into the stitches. So we're gonna work a double crochet in each stitch. So there's three stitches across, so we'll work a double crochet in each of these three stitches. As our dishcloth grows, you'll work the, uh, the corners the same in every single round, but each side 
will grow. As you can see, it kind of makes a, a growing triangle each side. So this has three, this has seven, and so forth. So each round, will, that side and that triangle will grow. Okay, so let's come back to our little square that we were beginning here. So we're going to work a double crochet in each of these stitches. It's going to be three. So one, two, and three. This is where I made the knot to finish off the previous round, so it might be a little snug on that particular stitch. Okay, so we worked three double crochets along this side here. So you can kind of see how it's taking shape. Again, we're weaving these tails in as we go along. So let's work our first corner, our first full corner. We, we started part of the corner, like I said before. So we've arrived at a chain two space again. So the corner is gonna be worked two double crochet one and two then in the same same corner space we're going to work two chains one two and then again in the same space two double crochet so all that's happening in that corner and this is how all of your corners will be worked for the entire dishcloth okay so let's see what we have here our corner comes up and rounds over so we're gonna get some more yarn. And then again, we're going to work a double crochet in each of these stitches. We just worked our corner in the space, but we're going to be working the sides into the stitches here, okay? So one, two, and it can be a little bit fiddly with all these little ends that you're trying to weave in, but just take your time and go slow through those parts where you're hold, also holding these ends in with your finger. I use my back finger to hold those ends. Okay, so we work three double crochets across in those stitches, and then the next corners work the same way as the previous corner. Two double crochet, one, and two. Then we're gonna chain two, one, two then two double crochet in that same space, that chain two space that is our corner. Okay, starting to look very much like a square at this point. Okay, so we're gonna just work the side the same way. And did you notice I push this over a little? This first stitch here gets a little bit buried sometimes when you're working the corner. So if you need to just snug that over, that's fine. Okay, so work three double crochets across, one in each stitch. Again, we're holding those ends. One, and this is two. And three. Now I wanna just take a moment here and stop for a second. My ends are getting really, really short. So again, I like to trim as I go along. You can do whatever you like, whatever pleases you. And then just straighten that out a little. Okay, so let's work this last corner before we finish up the corner where we began. The last full corner, I should say. So again, we're gonna work two double crochet, one two, and two chain two, and two double crochet, all in that same space. So one double crochet and two, finish that corner. Just like that, okay? So let's finish off the very last part of our square. Again, I push that over to reveal that stitch. It always gets buried in there. So one, two, Again, we're working these into the stitches. And three. Just like that, okay? So now 
we're going to finish the corner. Now again, like I mentioned before, we worked uh, chain five to make that counted as both a double crochet and then also that, that corner chain two. So just go into that corner space and work a double crochet to finish off your corner. And then you're gonna, kind of like we did before, you're gonna count three chains up and work your, uh, work a slip stitch in there to close off your round, okay? So that'll close it off ni nicely. Okay, then you're gonna fasten off your yarn, trim and then fasten. And then it looks very much like a little square, it's looking very much like our dishcloth. Okay, so let's work round three together and you'll see that it's very similar to this round. We're just going to be adding more side stitches to our next round. So the next color in our color sequence is this pink color. So again, tie the yarn into any corner. Doesn't matter which corner, because we're just tying it on. So choose a corner, insert your hook into that chain two space, that corner space, bring the new yarn through, tie it right on. Now, round three is gonna be pretty much identical to the previous round. The only thing you're gonna change for each round is how many of these um, side stitches you add. So you'll be adding more side stitches each time and that is what grows your square, okay? So let's get a little bit of yarn off our yarn ball here. And again, we're holding our tails as we go. So reinsert your hook back into that same uh, space, bring up a loop and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then in the same space, work two double crochet. So you can see that this is identical to the previous round, the way that we work our corners. And every corner you work will be the same. And just like the previous round, we're only working part of that first corner to begin. Okay, next you're going to work a double crochet into each stitch across until you come to the next corner. So double crochet, next stitch, double crochet. And again, I'm holding my, my tail in as I go. It'll save you a tremendous amount of work of weaving all that in at the end. I actually do not mind weaving ends in, but I know a lot of people don't enjoy that process as much. So it's always helpful to weave them in as you go. Okay, so just go ahead and work a double crochet into each one of these stitches all the way across. It's already looking very, very much like our dishcloth. Okay, so then we're at the first full corner. This is again a partial corner because we're gonna finish it up as we come around. So in this corner, work two double crochet. One and two. Push it over if you need to. Chain two. One, two, holding that tail still, and then two double crochet. When you're weaving these tails in as you go along, just hold them until you've woven them in sufficiently or you run out of, of an end here and you're kind of getting to the edge. Okay, so we worked our corner. Then we're going to work a double crochet into that first stitch and each stitch across until we get to the next corner. So my end, I feel like, has been woven in sufficiently. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that a little so I can keep going. Okay, so we're just working. I'm just going to straighten that out because I, I gave that end a little tug before I trimmed it to help it blend as I straightened it out. 
Okay, so again, we're just working a double crochet into each one of these stitches across. Okay, so we're at the next corner and we'll just work that the same way. I'm going to continue around the same way we've been doing, working the corners and the sides, and we're going to rejoin at the end here and I'll show you how to, how to finish that off. It's the same as what we did on the green round, but I'll show you again how to finish this off for your round, round three. Okay, so we're just coming up to the end of the round here and I'm just going to work a double crochet in the last stitch of our side and then to finish it off we'll do it the same way we did the green round so just work a double crochet right into that corner space that chain two space and then you're going to count three chains up and join with a slip stitch to close the round there we go. And then round three is complete. So just fasten off with your scissors and your hook. Okay, so round three will look kind of like this. Now to keep going with your dishcloth, you're just going to keep repeating this round over and over and over. Um, switching colors, whatever color sequence you choose, just keep switching colors. And your dishcloth will keep growing. Just You'll just work, see we've created more stitches. So when we go to work the next round, there'll be more stitches to create that side. So this side will grow, and this side will grow, and this side will grow, making your square grow. So just keep going. I did mine until I got to about eight inches. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this very simple clean edge and that will frame your dishcloth in nicely. So I went ahead and completed a few more rounds and my dishcloth is about eight inches wide. If you would like a bigger dishcloth just keep working more rounds or if you want like a smaller scrubby you can stop sooner than I did. So let's flip our square over. We have um, because I weaved the ends in as I went along, I just have a few ends to trim. And you can see this for the very end before you put the border on, or you can do it now. I like to just get them out of the way. So go ahead and just trim all of those little ends that you wove in. And you can save these um, little yarn scraps for stuffing um, a pillow or an animal stuffed animal that you've crocheted or you can save them for the birds the birds really like the yarn scraps so just get all those ends trimmed so you don't have any more left I still have a few more because there's lots of color changes okay I think they're all gone except for this last one which we're gonna weave that one in also as we go so if you like the way your square looks now, you can just use it as is. I'm going to show you how to add just a little border around the edge, okay? So our next color in our sequence is going to be the green again. So when I made my square and added each round, I just added along these sides. See, it's actually three triangles that come together separated by these corner holes. So I just added more stitches to each side to achieve um, and grow my square. So anyway, we're gonna do green as our next color. So our edge is very, very simple. It, it's just single crochet all the way around. And when we do our corner, we're just gonna work three single crochets in the corner. Okay, so let's do the green. We're just gonna tie it into the corner, just like that. Bring the new yarn through and then just tie it right on. 
I like a nice secure knot. No need to over knot it though. Okay, so reinsert your hook back into the corner. Now, when we work the corners here, just like our, our square, we're going to be working into the spaces. And then when we work all these sides, we're going to be working into the stitches. So reach in with your hook and bring up a loop and then chain one, just like that. Now, go back into the same space and we're going to work two single crochets because that chain one counts as one of our single crochets. So we're just gonna do two single crochets, but all of the other corners that we arrive at, we're gonna be working three single crochets. Okay, so locate that first stitch. You may have to kind of push things over a little. And again, we're holding this tail as we go. And then just work a single crochet in each stitch all the way around until you get to the next corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and work a single crochet in each stitch and then we'll rejoin at this next corner. So we've arrived at this first corner space and again, we're just going to work three single crochets into that space. So one, two, and three. So then we're going to continue. Again, you might have to push a little bit of that over. That very first stitch gets a little bit smushed over there. So again, we're just gonna work a single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and I'll rejoin you when we get to the end here. So I'm just coming up to the end of our border. So I'm just going to join with a slip stitch where we begin to finish the dishcloth, okay? So once you're finished, you can cut the yarn and go ahead and fasten off. So because we wove our ends in as we went along, we only have one tail left. So go ahead and thread your tapestry needle and flip it over to the back. Now you'll want to weave the green into the green because otherwise it'll show more. So go ahead and just weave that in. When you make stitches with cotton yarn, especially single crochet stitches, it can be a little snug. Just get it in there the best you can. So come in one direction and come back in the other direction. There we go. And then just take your scissors trim that very last tail and then you can kind of just straighten things out and as you can see the green or whatever color you end up using frames our dishcloth out quite nicely it makes a nice clean edge on our dishcloth so that is how you crochet the tropical punch dishcloth thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest fiberflux video updates Thanks again.